What is going on everybody, Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you the latest feature to make it into the official build of Citra emulator and that is save state support. So what this means is that you can save the game at any point in the game, for example a boss fight and if you were to lose then you can load it at that very point where you saved it. Anyway I will show you how this works. So the game that I will be trying this on is Metroid Samus Returns. So we are now actually at a boss fight. Now to do the save states, what you need to do is bring up the quick menu and on the top we have save states. And when you use the save state, it does give you a warning prompt that this should not be the main way for you to save your game. As this is an experimental feature and if the save state does not work, you can't resume your game. So do continue with your normal game saves. So I did eventually die, so once you do resume the game it will take you back just before the boss fight, but if you do have the save state you will go to load state, there is a slight black screen here but it will load back to where you saved the game. So that is how save states and load states work. Now if you want to find out where these files are saved, you will need to go into a file manager, go to Citra EMU, scroll down to the bottom and you will find a folder called states and the files are there. But you will have to figure out what game is what and as you can see these file size are about 20 meg each. So that wraps it up for this quick video, if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up, if you are new here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like always thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.